Hi, my name is Ken. Welcome to another Memory C YouTube clip. The purpose of this presentation is to talk about the ZIF 1.8 and in particular how you hook up the actual cable to a ZIF product. It's come to my attention through our support channels. A lot of people are finding the mechanics of this process of hooking up a cable to be quite difficult. So this demonstration is not to talk about anything with software, it's physically the mechanics of taking a 1.8 ZIF and plugging a cable in. Now, one thing I'd like to talk about before we go on the process of hooking up the cable. I'm talking about plugging this into a 1.8 enclosure. Now, I want you to look at the actual cable itself. If you'll notice on this cable, not all cables look exactly the same in terms of colouring, but my cable has a blue and a white backing. I want you to pay particular attention to this for one reason. If you notice the thickness on a cable, one end is thinner, one end is thicker. There's a reason for that. The actual enclosure itself has a bit more space to play with on the actual zip connection. So you have to take the thick part of the cable into the enclosure. Always, always check which is the thinnest part. Because you'll notice on the actual zip itself, this is very small and very thin. So if you're trying to place the thick cable into it, you'll run into a lot of difficulty. So I want to also point out another fact. If you notice on this cable, contact points and plastic backing. You have to have contact to contact. If you make a mistake, it's not going to work. A lot of people have returned products to ourselves where they've actually had the cable in this way. That's actually inaccurate, incorrect. You have to have contact to contact for the window system to detect the actual enclosure and the zip itself. So what I'm going to show you now is a very quick demonstration of how you put the cable into the product. Now one thing I would like you to note, on this product you have a black lever. This lever must be up in all times for you to plug the cable in. <clears throat> if you make a mistake, just take out the cable and try again because it's very, very particular. So what I'm going to do now is plug the cable in. If I do it this way, I'm doing it wrong. I must take the thin end, the plastic backing is visible to myself at all times, contact straight down. So in this demonstration, I'm just going to plug the cable in, pushing it down on both sides to make sure there's a full contact. Now if I push down the lever, I'm making a full tight seal. I can hold the SSD like this. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing to demonstrate the fact that the connection is sufficient enough, strong enough and tight enough to hold the old product itself. Do not do this in real life. Now if I take the lever and lift it up, you'll notice how easy it pops back out. If I attempt to shove the black, sorry the blue backing into the actual enclosure, I will not be able to do so. It is too thick. I run a very strong risk of ripping off the actual interface itself. That's something to avoid. I also want to show you the blue bit going into the actual enclosure itself. If you notice the lever on that up and down position, it's actually very loose, but the thickness of the back of the cable is sufficient enough that once you place this inside, you'll have a strong tight seal. Now I want you to pay attention again. Do not do it this way, because you're doing it wrong. The contacts are not touching the actual board itself. So you lift up the lever, take the actual blue backing, place it directly in. When I push down the lever, making full seal, full contact, I can do this. I highly encourage you not to do this because you want to risk a damage your cable. I'm doing this to illustrate the strength of the actual connection. That is how you correctly connect the ZIF cable to the ZIF product. Now the same mechanics again with the actual contact connection. Do not do it this way. It's this way. It's contact to contact. So you just make always make sure that the lever is in the upright position. When you push it down, you're sealing the actual connection. So now I make sure that I make sure that it's lined up, very, very carefully pushing it in, both sides, left and right. I push down the lever and I make it full contact. Now just to show again how strong the connection actually is. Now I highly recommend you don't do this, this is purely to demonstrate the connection's strength. Now if I lift up the actual lever, it pops right out. So I'm proving to you that the actual connection is sufficient enough, if done correctly, to hold both products into itself. Thank you for watching our MVC YouTube clip. If you'd like more information about the products that we sell, please look at the link below.